Hey friends, this morning I want to take you on a look at my morning in a very unfiltered way. I think sometimes our tendency, at least here on YouTube, is to watch lots of routine videos and to think that um, people's homes are constantly spotless and that they have it all together. And that just isn't always the case. Good on them if that is the case, but for me, it's not. And so today, I just wanted to share with you a very unfiltered look at my home um, and at what I have done so far this morning. This is a completely off-the-cuff video. I was literally, I literally came home probably five minutes ago. I haven't even unpacked my groceries yet, and I just decided to film uh, what I'm up to. So it is 10 after. 10 after 10 in the morning, and this is what we have done so far today. I got up this morning at 5 o'clock to try and get my husband out of bed. He is horrible at uh, getting up, and um, he needed to be up at 5.30, and it was 5.40, 5.45 that he finally got out of bed. <laughs> I got out of bed at 6. And I did my hair and makeup and uh, just had some time before my kiddos got up at 7 and they did their whole morning routine. I drove Aubrey to school and then afterwards Colt and I went to get a few groceries. I just went in to get some chicken but there were other things that we needed and it turned into a $100 bill. So I'll share with you what I picked up. Um, and then we stopped at the library for the library reading program. It was at 9.30 and my son wasn't into it at all. It was um, a Halloween theme because Halloween's in a few days and we didn't get the memo to wear a costume, which his costume really wouldn't make sense anyways. He and Aubrey are going as um, Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde from Zootopia. So without her, he doesn't look it just looks weird. So, um, anyways, I we just walked in the house. I'm going to share with you the state of my kitchen and what's all going on. Okay, so last night I was not home. Uh, I had a meeting at our local hospital. We are opening a Ronald McDonald House uh, room in the hospital, and I'm going to be a volunteer. So I had a meeting, and I had to leave my house at 4.30. So my kitchen didn't really get cleaned, Um so that's what I'm going to do this morning. I've got dirty pans, dirty counter. I went shopping last night and I filmed this little haul. So I've got to get this all taken care of. I've got a toy truck down here and just more stuff. So I've got my sink of dishes running. I need to put this away. Um, my garbage is overflowing. So I'm not going to show you that because that's gross. But, so I've been putting garbage in this little plastic bag because i got to get the garbage out because my husband keeps forgetting to do it, so Mama will be doing that. These are all the dishes that I did before leaving for my meeting last night. I have not yet had coffee, so my coffee pot is here. That needs to be done. These are more dishes to be done, um, cereal that needs put away, a few of the groceries, and that is sort of a state of my kitchen. A hot mess. So my little guy has been playing trains here. These are my house shoes. I normally wear these flip-flops everywhere in my house. Um, those, those don't usually go outside. They're just like house shoes. So my little guy likes to play his trains like right here, right in the walkway. And I'm tripping over them. So then I head into my living room. I've got scads of laundry. Some of this needs folded, some of it just needs put away, and it's crazy because, it, again, because I was at home last night, I couldn't really tackle all of this, so that has to be done today. So what I do when I get home from taking Aubrey to school is I come on into my living room and I open up the curtains and get some sunshine in. Then I went ahead and plugged in my garland. I actually need to change my Scentsy Wax today. So I'm going to just let this melt a little bit so that I can actually just peel the wax right out. And we will get on with our day.
camera died, which I guess is what happens when you kind of impromptu decide to capture your life um, and you weren't prepared. So I got a lot of stuff done. I got most of the groceries put away. I wiped out the fridge. I made myself some breakfast, um, put Colt down for a nap. I finished all the dishes. I still have some things to tidy up here in the kitchen and I'll kind of take you around and just show you my progress of what I have done so far. Um, now that it is 12.30, I'm feeling very exhausted today. Um, I would say it was waking up at 5, but that's kind of an everyday occurrence, so I'm going to have another cup of coffee. I usually only like to have one cup a day. Uh, I really don't care to have more than that, but um, I'm feeling really tired. So I'm going to flip you around and show you all that I have got done. Okay, so this I've got to recycle. Um, I got my diffuser out. Uh, normally this is in Colt's room, but I needed a little pick-me-up um, beyond my coffee. So I am just diffusing some tangerine, uh, I think it's tangerine lemon uh, essential oil. It smells so good. And so that's kind of going. Um, I have been listening to uh, some podcasts today. This day, today I'm listening to the Influence Network, um, and they're talking about kind of schedules and routines and um, just um, honoring God with your time and taking busy out of your life. So I was listening to some of that. I've got to get these snacks put away. So here is my dirty dishwater that I've got to drain. These are all the dishes, um, coffee. I need to make another cup of coffee. Um, put this away. These are all these coffee beans that spilled inside of our uh, pantry, so I got to throw those away. And then these are some overflow products. So these um, snack packs will go in a little area that I have for Shane's lunches. And then um, these were just some extra products that wouldn't fit. And then I need to put the coffee back. Okay, so here is how I'm wrapping up my morning. I am going to have my coffee. My hands are ridiculously dry, and the only thing that is actually making my hands feel super moisturized and wonderful is this um, nourishing hand cream from Bath & Body Works. I haven't used Bath & Body Works in, seriously, probably like five or six years. Um, because once I, when I was selling Scentsy, we had our own line of hand creams and they were incredible. Um, and they were so, so good. Um, but they no longer have those hand creams anymore. So, um, I picked this up just recently on a trip to Bath and Body Works. The first time I've been in there in, like I said, years, years and years. Um, and I'm loving this. I'm almost out, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to moisturize my hands, and I am going to read a oh, little Chip and Jojo, um, the Magnolia Journal. This is their premiere magazine, and I'm so excited to dive into this. So my husband is away this weekend. Actually, I'm sorry, not this weekend. He leaves tonight, and he's gone into the weekend. So this is the midweek uh, as I'm filming this. So he'll be gone for the next few days. I have got a lot to take care of. Um, all our puppies, which is eight puppies, their mama, um, and two dogs that will be here staying. And the puppies are now starting to eat solid food. So there's a lot that's going to be on my plate. So I decided to treat myself to this magazine and I'm going to go sit and relax and enjoy myself while my son has a nap because I know that tonight is going to be a zoo and I would like to have a little me time. So thank you guys for staying with me uh, during this morning into a very unfiltered look at what my day is like on this particular day. Um, I thank you guys for watching and I hope that you have a great day.